We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Employees of the Tropicana got a document on Monday saying that the property would close potentially in 18 to 24 months to make way for its closure and inevitable implosion mm-hmm. so the uh, A's could have their new stadium and they'll build a new project there, the whole deal. Well, an updated document was just sent out to employees yesterday saying the property would be open, quote, for as long as practicable. (laughs) Practicable. Wow. They said uh... the first document was sent prematurely. So this one just kind of, hey, you know how we gave you like a definite amount of time to prepare your life? Eh. That's so sad really is stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> so that leaves the door open for a longer or shorter, or shorter time. end Nobody of the knows. property. They said employees will have opportunities at other properties within Valley's portfolio. And let me check here. There are none in Las Vegas. <laughs> that is unfortunate. So wow. we're going to have to move to Biloxi or Rhode Island. Wow, wow, wow. Atlantic City? That's sad. Like, it's just so flippant. Money. It's Money. just so, hey, we'll help you. you the more I think about the A's, though, I really, and they're not going to, but you know how like 90% of our sports teams, I would yeah. say maybe 100% have awesome, awesome logos, awesome colors, awesome names. Love it. Drop the A's name. Drop, Drop the A's name and the color. Awful. There's nothing green, green and yellow. Here. Uh-uh. Ugh. Yeah. No way. It is really bad. Now, I, I always thought before um, the Las Vegas, like once the Las Vegas Aces got their name, I think that was before the Aviators became the Aviators. But I was saying, man, the Aces would have been a great name for a baseball team. Mm-hmm. But, um, but I, you know, they're the Aces. They won the first world championship. Mm-hmm. Like they got to keep the name. So I don't know what you call it, but the A's. Mm-mm. And the colors. Ugh. What, they want to be first in the yellow pages? I know. Gosh, A's. so bad. <laughs> Got him. <'em>. Gosh. <laughs> Vegas Vic, the cowboy hat wearing, sporting sign there over at a Fremont Street Experience has seen better days. His girl left him for Derek Stevens. His arm hasn't moved in decades, and lately his sign hasn't glowed at all. Well, that's about to change. The company who owns Vic and Yesco, the sign company, they're working on repairs. Vic should be glowing once again in a few weeks. You may remember that the city of Las Vegas started fining the uh, sign's owners because you, uh, if you're a sign uh, in that area, you need <laughs> you to be glow. on. Yeah, mm-hmm. is, uh, so uh, they're going to make him glow again, which is good. Mm-hmm. What if he just glow didn't up. glow? What if he just had the bulbs, but they didn't light up? Maybe that's his uh, new style. I it think is they 2023. Should, Everyone they has their own style. Remove the cigarette for a vape. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Done. Modernize Vic. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, hey, here's someone who's been in Las Vegas almost as long as Vic. The legendary Wayne Newton. Wayne just announced his residency over at the Flamingo will run through the end of the year. His first headlining gig in Las Vegas was at the Flamingo 60 years ago. Wow. Six decades. Crazy. Still at the Flamingo property. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's been obviously to and from, yeah, but yeah. like, wow, how That's cool. Really cool. Stories at 1027VGS.com. Very impressive, though. Uh, speaking of the Las Vegas Aces, they got cracked by the WNBA yesterday after an investigation into their handling of the pregnancy of former Aces star Derek Ahambi, who they then traded off to the Los Angeles Sparks for some girl we don't even remember the name mm-hmm. of because they immediately dropped her. Yep. Uh, head coach Becky Hammond will be suspended for two games, losing no, uh, there's no pay for those two games. It's about $50,000 gone. Meanwhile, the team going to lose their 2025 first round draft pick. The Aces say they are deeply disappointed with the league's actions. Full story at 1027VGS.com. That was crazy. From what I, I mean, they said they interviewed like 60 people that all pretty much said the same thing. Like, yeah, there's some sketchiness going on. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because oh. I bet you she's going to do phenomenal. And uh, Oh, yeah. She's got fire in the stomach now. And she's already yeah. ready. Like, she's like, I'm ready to play this year. And I can't oh, yeah. wait. It's going to be great. Mm-hmm. So, man. It, it, the, the whole thing, if you didn't know, she got pregnant. And then supposedly behind the scenes, they were telling her that she wasn't committed to the team because she decided to. Said, Did you know you were going to get pregnant? She's well, like, oh, I mean, gosh, there was a folks. risk. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Everyone must remain celibate. <laughs> so you got bad. a championship to win, ladies. Yeah. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights, Jonathan Marshall. So he scored a hat trick in game six to help clinch a round two victory. Unfortunately, it was at Edmonton, so no hats came onto the ice. But fans locally decided to show him some love. His wife posted a picture to her Instagram story showing that neighbors littered his lawn with hats <laughs> so for cool. him to come home to, which is so <laughs> cool. I love it. Also, how many people know where Jonathan Marshall live? I, you know what? Uh, Ryan Reeves lived in one of Jaden's 
friends' neighborhoods. For they would just go knock and be like, "Hey, Ryan." He's like, "Hey, guys." Like again, <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> Jaden, would you like do that? And I, I'm like, which one? I want to go knock and say, like, "Hey, Ryan." <laughs> supposedly, Flory was playing like street hockey here when he was here. Like, I mean, when you they think all about live it, in Summerlin, we know that. Like, yeah, you know. but and when you think about it, though, like it's their home. It's not like the, and and Vegas is not big enough for them to live on, you know, acres of land. So they are like us. They yeah. walk out to their car and get in it and drive to work. You know, it's crazy. None of them live in kids. Mountains Edge. No, none of them live in the Edge. No, I don't think so. To live on the edge of glory. Mm-hmm. Uh, with weather's mid 90s, slight chance of a scattered shower just like yesterday. Upper 90s by tomorrow, and hell is officially here. 